What's going on, E Nation Army? This is the Impress 2000. I'm at the original Impress 2000 YouTube channel here, and welcome back to yet another diecast review. In this diecast review, I got it yesterday on December 14th. Um, I never got the chance to do that because it was kind of late after I did my birthday haul video. So yeah, and let's review it right away. This diecast review is going to be on Dario Franchitti's 2010 Target Honda Delara from Target Chip Ganassi Racing. This is one of them Hot Wheels IndyCar Real Riders diecast from back in the day, from the early 2010s, and I wish licensed IndyCar diecast for back in retail stores um, at realistic liveries. But because IndyCar is a, I don't know, um, difficult sport when it comes to expanding and all that, we may not get that anytime soon. But yeah, it's. It's hard being an IndyCar fan at the moment, and every year, and every offseason, but let's get positive. We got another beautiful IRL5 diecast. So let's go to the box. We got Hot Wheels, we got Dario Franchitti, number 10. We got Dario Franchitti with the Borg Warner Trophy after winning the 2010 Indy 500. IZOD IndyCar Series, 2010 IZOD IndyCar Series Champions, Target Chip Ganassi Racing, 2010 winner, Indianapolis 500. You got Authentic Racing Deco, Real Riders, Dario Frankie's car inside. You got the Target Chip Ganassi Racing logo once again with the achievements from the 2010 season on the back, which is underwhelming, in my opinion. Um, I get the Isa Indica Series logo, uh, Hot Wheels got the uh, Target Chip Ganassi Racing logo, and this is disappointing. I think the 2009 box. It would have pictures of the 2009 IndyCar 164s. This right here is just disappointing. It's just letterings of the cars from this wave. And yeah, just very disappointing, underwhelming. But that's not what the that's not why I got this car, of course. HotWheelsCollectors.com, officially licensed product, IndyCar.com, Mattel, uh, Barcode. You got the IndyCar license. Uh, officially licensed product, HotWheels.com, ServiceMattel.com, um, and all the other fun stuff. So, hopefully if I can keep this in the box, uh, let's open this bad boy up. Alright. Alright. Alright, I think I got it. If you want to skip this part, go ahead. Um, I don't blame y'all, to be honest. Oh, it's so far so good. Alright. Looks like it's going to be kept in the packaging. And look at this. Holy cow. Alright, look at this card. So let's get the cardboard box as a background and review this son of a gun. Alright, guys. Here it is. Dario Franchitti's 2010 Target Honda Delara. And... Honestly, I never thought I'd get another Hot Wheels IndyCar license diecast. Especially like these kinds of real rider ones. Not the metal chassis ones with fantasy liveries. Because it's rare on eBay to find it with cheap price. So yeah, and it'll pop up once in a while. And this was the case um, on eBay. So let's go with the car. Alright, so I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. Probably not. Um... Obviously, we got Target, but the, um, the top of uh, the letter and the bottom of the letter got cut off, which is odd. Probably Hot Wheels moment. I know this is a Hot Wheels mistake big time. 10 being way too low and crooked. So, you got Firestone. You got St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. You got the letter K. Not sure what that is. Another response logo. I can't tell. You got three Target bullseyes. Um, all right, you also got Glad. I'm glad I got this car. You got Tom Tom. I remember when Tom Tom was a big thing in late 2000s when I was a kid. Uh, Gillette, Maxwell House. Uh, you got Microsome, I think. I don't know. You got Huggies. You got Breathe Right. Sponsor can't tell. Um, you got Dell, EMC, Microsoft. Lysol Honda Energizer. 
Huh, IndyCar and Honda. I wonder what's going on with IndyCar and Honda news recently. Uh, you got I's IndyCar series logo. You got the uh, Target Chip Ganassi Racing logo. Um, you also got... And this is actually a cool feature of this car. When you go on board with Dario, uh, something like this, you can see uh, the onboard sponsors, you know, Firestone, Eyes Out IndyCar Series, and just like that on the other side. Um, and his mirrors, you got McDonald's, Bass Pro Shops. Look at that. Bass Pro Shops were in the sport as an associate sponsor because Bass Pro Shops and McDonald's were chip Ganassi in general back in 2010. How about that? That's actually pretty cool. So on the front, you got some, uh, Sea Life, Life Water? No. Something, something, Life Water, Maxwell House, Tom Tom, Glad, Gillette, Target, number 10, Honda, Isa, IndyCar Series, Dove. Uh, what else you got on the nose? Um, if we can focus, that'd be awesome. Uh, Reveal 60, Lexar, Reese's, Photo, I'm assuming that's Target Photo. On the front wing plates, you got, uh, Lysol, Huggies Brands, Energizer, Breeze Right. On the wing plates, you got, uh, Reese's, Reveal, Dove. Uh, same side as the left. And, you got Photo, Sherwin Williams. Um, you got two Firestone logos. Uh, what else you got? Um, same side as the left, of course. Um, okay, on the rear wing, you got T-Mobile. And on the wing... Oh, wait, hang on. You also got Sunoco Peak. And same thing. And, of course, uh, Darius number 10 on the wing on rear wing plates. You know, it's very ironic that as a Woolpower fanatic... I got a Dario Franchitti 164 diecast, especially when Power and Franchitti were going at it from 2010 to 2011. Very ironic. And yet, I don't have a Willpower Hot Wheels IRO 5 car. That's a shame. Well, hopefully one day. But either way, of course, IndyCar, Target, um, Chip Ganassi Racing, Target. Like, name a better duo, folks. Just, of course... You can't go wrong with the Target race car. Man, so iconic in the racing world. It's just a shame that Target left the sport in 2016 and they left NASCAR after 2017. Just just unfortunate. And and speaking of Target IndyCar diecast IRL5s, not only I have Dario's car, but I also got Scott Dixon's car, uh, but from 2011. Of course, back in the day, Dario Franchitti was Chip Ganassi Racing's number one driver. So, here you go. Like, here's the differences. Um, of course, same main color, but um, Dixon just has more white on his car. Ma well, mainly because of the um, uh, these areas right here. And the wing and in the number plates. So, yes. Yeah, um, almost identical. But there's differences as well. Um, back in the day, I think Dario Franchitti was like Chip Ganassi Racing number one driver because he was like uh, winning races left and right, going for championships. And then Dario started to slow down after 2011. Like as soon as the DW12s happened, 2012, honestly, Dixon became the better driver. Even though Dario won the 500 2012, Dixon started to become the better Chip Ganassi driver. So. Yeah. So yeah, that is a comparison between Dario and Scott's Target cars from 2010 and 2011. But this right here, just a gorgeous car. Like I said, can't go wrong with a Target um, race car. So glad I had this in my collection. Another IndyCar dish in my collection. And I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this diecast review. This is the Impress 2000 on my the original Impress 2000 YouTube channel. Signing off. Goodbye, everybody.